After you're logged into Shopify, go to the left to Analytics, then Reports, then scroll down and choose Finance Summary. Choose the date range that you want to do your report. You should be doing it for just a single day at a time so that we can match your deposits. So let's choose one day and you have to click on the date twice and hit apply. Notice on the finance report the total sales plus liabilities must equal the total payments in order to have a journal entry that will balance. So this is your sales section where all your sales discounts returns. It has taxes in here and well which is actually a liability. Gift cards are also a liability which are down here and it shows your gift card sales. This section is your payment section and it will show you all the different payments that are applied towards sales and liabilities. This section is for gross profit which is showing your cost of goods sold. It's only accurate if you have unit costs set on all your items. Here it shows the cost of goods sold for products sold today and it also will show the net sales without cost recorded so that you can see which items do not have unit costs associated. To do our journal entry, these are the only fields that we're going to need. I've hidden the fields that you can ignore. Now we're going to go to QuickBooks and we're going to start a new journal entry. The first lines we're going to enter are the sales and liabilities. From our Shopify report, the gross sales, discounts, returns, and shipping are all income type accounts. So to increase your income account, you credit it, as we do with gross sales and shipping income. Discounts reduce our income, so we're going to debit that account. And if there were returns on this day, we would also debit it. Next, we're going to enter our liability accounts. Tips, taxes, and gift card sales are all liabilities. Those accounts will get credited to increase them. And in this situation, a gift card was returned, so that account got debited. Okay, now on to our payments. For payments, these are all asset accounts that we use for clearing. And in order to increase the asset accounts, we're going to debit them. So as you can see, we've created an asset account for each payment type, and we enter the numbers appropriately. Notice now our journal entry is perfectly balanced. The debits equal the credits. For the next step, we're going to enter the cost of goods sold. To increase the cost of goods sold account, you're going to debit it. To decrease the inventory asset account, you're going to credit it. Now notice again that our journal entry is perfectly balanced. I hope this short video has been very instructive. If this seems like too much work to do manually, we do this for you automatically at bookkeep.com. You can sign up today at bookkeep.com or you can add our app from the Shopify App Store or the QuickBooks App Store.